Hey guys and gals, it's Trevor again. So if you're like me and you bought both the Tyranids Start Collecting Box and the Tyranids Brood Swarm, then you probably have a giant pile of gene stealers that you need to paint. Which is why today I'm going to be painting 16 gene stealers in a fast and easy way. But before we start painting our fun four-armed friends, I'm actually going to work on their bases because forward planning is very cool. So I'm going to get some sawdust and some white glue, mix them into a very endearing sludge, spread it it all over our bases and leave them to dry. Alright, now let's paint our creepy creepers. So first of all, I'm going to use the Citadel Wraithbone Primer to prime up our gene stealers. Then I'm going to grab this black paint and paint their claws and toe pokers. And then I'm going to use this pink paint to paint all the rips in their skin and their tongues. Let's grab this yellow paint and carefully paint their eyes. And then let's use this dark red paint to dry brush all their claws and toe pokers. We're going to be doing the same using this dark dark orange paint, but this time we're going to be trying to catch the edges and raised parts. I'm going to use this dark green paint to paint the weird gland on their foreheads, and then I'm going to grab my wraith bone and just clean up any mistakes that I made on the skin. Now I'll be applying this dark green wash onto all the areas of the skin. You can of course use any other colour of wash that you want whatever you think looks coolest. Once the wash is dry, let's grab our wraith bone again and dry brush all the skin. We're trying to catch all the raised areas of the skin to create more contrast between the higher parts and more recessed parts of the model. Now I'm going to use this light green paint to highlight the raised parts of their forehead glands. And then I'm going to grab this peachy pink colour and dry brush it onto the tip of the tongue to make it stand out more. Cause who doesn't like a prominent tongue? Now at this point, our bases should be dry. So let's grab some grey primer and prime them up. Let's grab some cheap brown paint and slop it all over our bases. And don't forget to paint this weird connecty bit that the gene stealers still have because they haven't been updated since like 4th edition or something. Now I'm a cheap bastard so I decided to use this cheap black ink instead of my usual black wash. So let's go ahead and smear that all over our bases. Once that's dry, let's go back to the brown paint to dry brush our bases, followed by some cheap khaki paint for a quick dry brush highlight. Alright, we're almost there let's apply some super glue and now let's struggle endlessly to jam our gene stealers into their bases and there you have it our completed gene stealers are they the best looking gene stealers around Probably not, but I finished 16 of them in like 6 hours, so I'm gonna call that a win. If you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And if you really want to help me out, please check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash trevorgoesmeep, where you can get bloopers, work in progress shots, and access to my Discord server. Alright, I hope you had fun. I know I did because I love painting Warhammer. So I'll see you all next time.